Hello, Mr. Kaji. You're a trader, right? Ravir. He sells Daedric weapons. Well, sort of. Do I need these Daedric weapons? Not really. Well, he's got demon and devil stuff. Whatever. Inventory. 13 moon sugar. Sell. Where else is the other one? Two skooma, priced at 500 each. Sell. For 647? Nah, 650. Five. It's oh, true. He can't afford it. Might as well take away two moon sugar. Three moon sugar. Now can you sell them at 600? Yes, you will. Khajiit love the moon sugar and skooma. By the way, hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. In our previous episode, we explored pretty much all the, um, good places in Balmora, <laughs> and looked at a few guilds. Today, we are going to join a guild. I just went back to the previous episode and found that there was a new comment where somebody wants us to join a particular guild. In my opinion, good choice. So let's go join that guild right now. Not heading to the Thieves Guild, sorry. Or the Mage's Guild, or the Temple, it's the Fighter's Guild. And does this make the previous episode worthless because we looked at all the guilds and I told you guys to pick one? No, it doesn't, because you can join multiple guilds, you just can't join all the factions and get everything from them. But for now, we're going to join the Fighter's Guild, and we are going to do some Fighter's Guild work in this episode. I just fire I. I would like to join the Fighter's Guild. Sign me up. You are now Kevin, the Associate in the Fighter's Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you are ready for advancement. Am I ready for advancement? No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, we need to do some duties for the Fighters Guild. Or some orders. What are my orders? I have a very simple contract to end an infestation of cave rats. You might be able to handle it. Cave rats? Cave rats are evil. They're summoned by mages that... Okay, I'm done. Cave rat. Go to draw rain Thales' house. It's here in Balmora, along the river, on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats, and get your payment from Doraine Thalus. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. Don't press your... Before we go too far, I just remembered, and I should probably remember to do this in between episodes, I guess. Nope, we don't need to repair anything. I know exactly-ish, sort of, almost, kind of, not really. I have an idea of where Draylon Rathoris is the, the, the person's house is. It's in that one or that one. Might be this one. Yes it is. Hello, my lady. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? Probably, yes. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Kevin? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is. Not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Got a storage key, and she wants us to kill a couple rats. Now, what weapon do we want to use for these rats? They're pretty weak. Um, I think we should use this bow. It's probably a stupid idea, since it's going to be close range, and I'm not really sure how to use the bow. But, uh, we'll try it. Before I do it, though, I want to fire off one shot just to see. Yeah, and we can't pick up arrows after we've shot them either, so you need to be careful with arrows in this game. And we just saw the rat's tail clipping through the door. All right, so what's our skills here? Long blade 40, short blade 40, marksman 20. Oh boy. All right. One rat in here, two upstairs. Get you that one. There he is. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. That is the first time I ever used a bow in Morrowind. I'll get rid of that corpse. And what's in here? Uh, yeah. This woman is a pillow file. <laughs> Ooh, was that a another sermon of Vivek? Your long blade skill increased to 41. Very nice. And that's a major skill too. Anything you wish, Kevin. You know I like you and want to help. What? In fact, with a good friend like you, I might be even persuaded to gossip about a little secret. You're very specific. That is an unspecific secret. Everybody else has told me this before. Do you have anything else you can say? Anything. 
Nothing. <sighs> okay. Now we get to go upstairs and take care of the other part of her rat problem, but this is going to be very close quarters and there's two rats. I don't think it's a good place for a bow to be used. So I'm going to switch for something else right after I use the armor's hammer to repair the bow. That took way too long. So for close quarters I could use a spark sword, but it does have a limit on the charge. I don't think we want to waste a charge on cave rats for crying out loud. So let's take in our dagger. It's locked level 45, but we have a key for that. It's called a nap. Oh wait, did I say that wrong? Uh, there's the two rats. You guys probably can't see very well. I'm gonna have to really increase the brightness on this. Man, this game is really dark. I wish there was an option to increase the brightness. Oh well, cave rat's done. Get rid of the corpse. Get rid of that corpse. And there's one pillow. What's in the chest? Five gold? You guys didn't see that. I am not a thief. It was a chest up here in the... Well, of course you couldn't see. The brightness was too low. We did take a bit of damage from that too. So heal up. Not enough charge. My time is precious, so make it quick. Be nice. Let me draw a knife on you. You took care of the cave rats. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these 100 septums. That's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Well, the fighters guild gets paid, and we don't. Well, that sucks. Woo! Power of editing. AI has fire eye. I killed some rats. Don't press your luck. You're on your honor. My honor is fighters guild honor now, woman. Be nice. And I took care of the cave rats too. So you killed the rats, Kevin? Not bad for you. Hey, you ready for more orders? I like a little bit more respect. Advancement? I am now Kevin the Apprentice because I killed three cave rats. What? A local egg mine has problems with egg poachers, and you're going to solve those problems. Egg poachers, huh? Yes, egg poachers. May sound silly, but those Kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Dram Barrow, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Savillo Othan and Danila Velas, are former egg miners and long-time troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back to me when the poachers are dead. Journal has been updated. Oh wait, we should probably ask. Where is Shulk Egg Mine? A short distance southwest of Balmora, in the bluffs west of the Odai River. The old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora until you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? Actually, I believe we have seen that place before. Pretty sure I showed it to you guys earlier, too. Remember when we were coming to Balmora and we crossed a suspension bridge over the little river? Well, let me increase the brightness. Hallelujah, I can see. And we need to heal. Okay. So. Uh, Shulk Egg Mine. It's this way. We passed by it on the way here. I pointed it out to you guys. Not specifically by that name. But we saw the Egg Mine. Kind of a boring walk right now. I'm really slow. I said it before, but my character is really friggin' slow. By the way, in between episodes, just uh, go in to pick up the. Oh, uh, what are they called? The skooma and the moon sugar. I increased my acrobatics by two levels just by jumping all over the place. So there's a off-screen boost for you. Not that you guys care all that much. It's like, oh no, you boosted it and didn't show us. Yeah, I did. Quit whining. <laughs> Cork bulb. Cork bulb. Actually, before we go in too far, there's something else we could do. I think that's Drambero, though, isn't it? That's Dinoch. That's Findolin. This is Shulk Egg Mine, right? Yep. Shulk Egg Mine. Neither of you are Drambero. Where... Where's Dram Barrow? Oh, the pickaxe! So, you know how the weapons in this game are not one-handed, two-handed, blade blunt, whatever, like all the other games? Pickaxe is a weapon too. It is an axe type. Two-handed axe. 
There's just a little bit of information for you. And it's raining. And your fire, though dinky, is still going. Okay. So before we jump in here, in between episodes, I did two other things. I picked up six gold from crates, and I also got eight marshmallow marrow from crates. It was just a crate sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody cared. The, ta the crates that you see scattered around town, you can loot the crates without fear of people getting you in trouble. But I got a whole bunch of marshmallow marrow. Why did I get a whole bunch of marshmallow? Because you can restore health with those. So let's see if we can make a restore health potion. Right, there you are. Marshmallow, eight. Now we need something that can restore health. Cork bulb root, like I said before, it should be something that can restore health. Yes, it can. Now we create the potion and pray that it works. One out of five. Okay. Did we have any? Oh, yep. Zoltrus. And what else? Wickweed. Zoltrus and Wickweed also work. That one didn't. That one didn't either. Alright, so we wasted a whole bunch of ingredients. But we got a restore health potion. Where is it? Restore health. How much? Two points for three seconds. That is a weak potion. Wow. Best thing we can probably do with that is sell it for cash. But, yeah, we'll have to go along with it. So, we've got a dagger equipped right now. I think we should take in the iron spark sword because these are not rats we are going to fight now. They are egg miners. And they are known for causing trouble. It is raining harder. We need to get inside. Let's see if we can increase the brightness here. Because I don't like having to do it in editing. Alright, got a torch. And if I draw my weapon... Oh! It stays out. Cool. Alright, so we got a torch now that we can use. Whoa! Okay. Suddenly a Quama Forager. <laughs> We need to find Ram Barrow, though. And hopefully not get ambushed by any more of those little guys. Or even worse, a, uh... Kwama Warrior. There's some workers right now, though, and there's a forager in the middle of them. Here he comes! There he goes. Now, what's the charge on it, now that we've stabbed a few times? 9 of 10? Eh, it's not too bad, I guess. What's in here? Mining camp? Eh, that might be where they are, I suppose. Let's go check in here. Drambero, you in here? That was me, coming down to talk to you. You are Miner Gore. You are Miner Cuddy. Where? You are Miner Julian. Miner Drambero, where the heck are you? Are you even in here? I'm going to kill these guys before I talk to you at this rate. My map says there's something right there, but I'm not seeing anything. Don't stand about. I'm not standing about, woman. Stupid foragers. I'm going to be stupid and try to attack a scrib. Wow, I killed it in one hit. Scrib Jelly, Fortify Willpower, and I think it's got some other enchantments too that make it worthwhile. Still no warriors. If it's a warrior, you'll know. I'm not sure why the Scribs are here either. Are they being harvested by the Quama stuff? Oh, Queen's Lair. Oh, hey, we found the two Vagabonds! Come and get me! I got a Spark Sword! You got miners picks, okay. We gotta take these guys out fast. I am going to drink that stupid potion now. Just for a little bit of health increase, which we might need. Oh boy. Good thing I'm not practicing with the bow or other marksman such skills. Got him. Yeah. What do you guys have? Miners pick? Wow, that is a lot of weight for eight gold. I will not take that. I will, however, rob you of your clothes and your dignity, and 10 Kwama eggs. Small Kwama eggs. Minus pick? No. Rob you of your clothes. You can keep your pick. And is that everything? I think that's everything. We need to heal. Keep on healing. And I don't think we can steal from these things. We could open them up to take a look, but I don't want them. 
Besides, those are large quama eggs anyway. I don't want to carry two pounds of egg around. Before we head out of here, I'd like to show you guys what the Kwama Queen looks like. Hopefully there are not warriors surrounding her. Just... Need to find... There's, aha! There's the Kwama Queen! Man, she is friggin' ugly! Terribly ugly! Why am I... Why am I moving? Anyway, that's the Kwame Queen. Yay, now you've seen it. Let's get out of here. Stop pulling out your weapon, Kevin. Kevin's really anxious to go. Never saw Dram Barrow. I have a feeling right now that he may have actually been living in Balamora, and this mine is his property. Or he owns the mine. I don't know what the proper terminology is. Not sure what that thumping was. Oh, come on. Got him. Oh. Oh. We, um... We lost our torch. That's what the thumping was. Ah, here comes another one. Come on, die! I'm going to be killed by a maggot! Thank you. Man, the first time I was playing Morrowind, I came across those guys, and it killed me. Because I couldn't hit it with my attacks. Yeah, I... I like to kill those things whenever I see them now. Probably just for that reason. There's another one that just respawned, I suppose. I should die. Now looking at my map, I'm going the right way. Even though I couldn't see anything for a moment. Alright. Woo, we made it! And it's still raining. Crap. Well, not as hard as it was before, I think. No. Still is. Egg poachers, we've had no problems with missing eggs since you okay. I'm a busy guy. Yep, we got him. Yay, even though we never saw Dram Barrow, those guys are happy, and probably everybody else in the mining camp is happy too. We're good. Now we need to head back and collect our reward. Before we do that though, I really want to know what this tomb over here was. I saw it a couple episodes ago, and I want to know. I'm sure once I'll enter, it'll all look familiar to me, and I'll have many recollections. But for now, I have no idea what's in here, and I want to be reminded. Theri's Ancestral Tomb. Well, it sounds familiar. Trapped Door. Should probably repair my equipment. Armor would be a good thing to repair first. Used up the journeyman armor's hammer. Let's move on to the repair prawns. All right, now I do have the uh, probe. Yeah, just gotta get lucky. Who's in here? Man, I can't see Jack. You guys are lucky. You get to have me increase the brightness in editing. Man, I can barely see anything right now. Do I have a torch? I don't have a torch, because the other one burned up. Alright, according to my map, there's... Oh, maybe... No, it kind of extends. Over here. Let's open this door. Where'd it go? Ghost! Come on, come on. I'm not sure if it hit me at all. But I killed it. And I think this room is cleared out now. I think there's a cobweb down there. Scroll of Lesser Domination. Command Creature and Humanoid 6 levels for 20 seconds on target. Standard Restore Fatigue. Exclusive Invisibility. Wow, gonna hold on to that. 
Oh, what the heck, I'll take this thing and sell it off screen. Shrine of St. Veloth. No blessing for me, please. Behind door number two is... Oh, crap! That was a bone walker. I am not prepared to deal with a bone walker. I'm going to shut this door, too. Just got to get through the door before I can shut it. Well, that was close. I almost got us in very big trouble. Bone walkers. Don't fight them for a few levels. They are not good for a novice to encounter. They have a uh, ability spell that will drain your stamina. So, no, not your stamina, your strength. So even after they kill you, or you kill them, the effect will still be in place, and your, your strength will not come back, and it will lower your carry capacity. So if you were carrying a pretty good amount of stuff before that, you are going to be suddenly very weighed down and unable to make it out of the cave. You can't move. You can't even twitch while you're over encumbered. And it's very annoying. And if you don't have a way immediately, whether through alchemy ingredients or a potion or a scroll or a spell or an ability or anything to get your strength back up, you're in trouble. You have to start dropping stuff and until you're until you've lost enough weight to make it back to town. And sometimes it can drain your strength so much that it goes down to zero. And your carry capacity goes down to zero. You can't carry anything out of there with you. If you're new to Sedanine and you walk into an area with a bone walker, you can't even carry your clothes out. Dude, you can't even carry your clothes out because you're so friggin' weak. So yeah, bone walkers. Come prepared or die. Took care of them egg poachers. You got both of them? Good. Here's your payment, 100 septums. And we just got some extra potions from a recent raid. Take these, they'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. Alright, orders. Can we get more? I have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Tilvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Hail. Rain. Sleet. Snow. Did you want something? I gotta get over here, I think. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Fighters Guild. We took on two Fighters Guild quests today. Got in a little bit of trouble, and we remembered to sell some stuff. Actually, should probably go to the Khajiit to see if we can sell the rest of that stuff. We're still carrying a uh, skooma, aren't we? No, like three moon sugar. Whatever. Anyway, that was the beginning of the Fighters Guild. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, click the like button so that I would know, because that's what YouTube made it for. It is, in fact, the end of the episode, so if you guys are new here and you like what you see so far, feel free to subscribe for more Morrowind episodes. Morrowind episodes come out on the weekends, so if you would like to see more Morrowind episodes, you probably want to subscribe so you can come back and see all the new ones. And, as usual, I jumped. <laughs> this is a Sunday episode. So... Leave your comments below. What do you guys want to see next? Should we carry on with the with the Fighters Guild quests? If so, we have some other some more options besides just taking more quests and orders and whatnot and doing and doing and doing and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's another option that we have. There are uh, three or four Fighters Guild. Um, what do we call them? Houses, safe houses, whatever, dotted around Morrowind. We can go to a Silt Strider or the Mages Guild to get transportation to those other places and get orders from other Fighters Guild members. So if we want to get different orders that are not just dealing with four rogue Telvani agents, which might be a little more for than I can handle right now, I don't know. Depends entirely on Kevin. We're still at level one, by the way. We haven't even leveled up yet. <laughs> Eight episodes in, we still haven't leveled up. What's our status on leveling up? I gotta know. I gotta know. What's our status here? 4 of 10. We are 4 of 10 in the process of leveling up. What do we have here? <sighs> yeah. Kevin is still level 1. And he has taken on two Fighters Guild quests. The last one got us about, uh, got about half of our health gone. Which was actually quite a lot. But leave your comments below, guys. What do you want Kevin to do next? Should we look into other guilds, other factions? Should we trek off into the wilderness for a great exploration adventure? 
Should we report back to Kaya's Cossidus and continue the main quest? You wanted us to get into a guild and, do and acquire a reputation, and we've done that, so we could go back to do the main quest now, too. This is Morrowind, guys. There's a lot we can do here. A lot we can do here. Leave your comments below, let me know what I should do, and I will see you next episode for your comments. See you then.